Hello everyone, my name is JBR and welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. It's been a while since we've played this last, but team's mostly healed up. I forget, I can heal my Pokemon somewhere here. Is this it? I think so. Yes. Alright, leave the Digilab. This is probably a bad time to say. I don't recall where I'm supposed to be going. Um, maybe if we head and talk back to... Is this the Karimi Agency? Yeah. Shinjuku. If you've got time, stop by and check it out. Alright, so we need to go to Shinjuku. Which is a real place, right? It's not on the... Network. Oh, what's your exclamation point? Oh, this place looks nice. Drool. Ah. ah, who the hell are you? Jeez, oh, that's not very nice. Huh? If you want to eat, just come inside, did you say? You don't understand. A lady such as myself simply can't go into a place such as this unaccompanied. By the way, the other day I saw a girl left alone outside this place. She looks so lonely. Well, I don't see how that's quite any of my concern. She was fair skinned and had black hair. She was looking at this display. Perhaps, perhaps only I saw the girl. Ah! Are you assuming she's a ghost? How's, how's the new body? Have you broken it in yet? Shoot back to the office, you can find the case on the whiteboard. So... Is that the job I need to be doing? I got the call from hers. I guess I can go back and take it. Three new cases. Alright, so we got Broadway Food Tour. And I forget, was Red? Number one gamer. I think Red was Story. I guess. Seriously. None of these quite remind me if they're a story or not. Right, so we'll start investigating this. I know it's out of the blue, but are you hungry right now? Hungry? I've never eaten before in my life. I <laughs> kid your age, you're always hungry. Actually, this case came in from the web. It's quite a strange one. We have a request from someone who ranks gourmet restaurants as a personal hobby. She'd like you to go to Nakano and grade the gourmet restaurants there before back to her. Fees and expenses have all been paid up front. I decided it wasn't a risk, so I took it on. I decided to entrust this case to you guys. Oh. Kyoko, is that egg and rice place really doing all you can eat buffets now? Can I really eat for free, Kyoko? Yes, it's a present from me to all you hungry little kids. Please try your best on this one. Alright. The three restaurants we're going to are a Chinese restaurant, sushi, and a tea house. Wait, what about the egg and rice place? It looks like each one of these places is in the Nakano building. What about the egg and rice place? This is the place is anywhere I'm starving, let's just go. Okay. But my egg and rice! Alright, so... Was this one of them? Huh, what restaurant is this? Kinda run down, actually. It's falling apart. Actually, no, it's a complete dump. You must be blind. This place looks great. It's been deteriorating. It means it's been here for a long time. Which means customers have been coming here for a long time. Which means it's good. That could be true. It also could mean it's not true. <laughs> the bold decision.
half a charn and a muple doleful here for you. Well, they give good sized portions here. This is a good choice, huh? That delicious smell. Oh, yes, it's the sick chuan pepper and the maple dofu. These don't sound like foods. Oh, the chuan pepper is making a beautiful harmony with the even more delicious star anise. I'm gonna try and put the charan in my mouth while after tasting them. What is this game? What is? How is this Digimon? Ooh, crab omelet sounds amazing. It would probably be healthy. Hey, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. Alright. So now I need to find the next two. I'm assuming that was the Chinese place. So we just need the sushi. And I know there's a tea place like on the top floor card shop uh, nothing rainbow turntable I'm really confused how this is gonna turn into a how this is a story mission is this it? oh wait how about you? Best taka takoyaki in the universe. You're not a true naka. No one until you try it. Mm. All right. Um, magazines. I don't know. That's the bookstore. Nothing. So I guess that you can have two restaurants on this floor. Cafe. Here it is. Is this where I'm supposed to? Huh. Are they not all in here? Okay, so the map will tell me the names of places. So K Cafe is the only one. It's worth it up here, which I thought that's where I needed to go, but oh, we got a card shop and a CD shop. Uh, shop consultation. Oh, I know this doesn't even mention all the other places either. But, oh, so here's the tea house. I have an egg set meal, free second helping. It's the egg and rice place that Kyoko said had an all you can eat. But they have a rice omelet meal as well. Hmm. All right, let's go inside here, bro. Do you want to tea house, cool. I like the retro feel of this place. The menu has so much on it, I really can't choose, huh? Neapolitan pasta. Obviously the best pasta is from a pasta restaurant, but I like this place. Is it ice cream? Bright red tomato sauce on thick spaghetti. Look at the chopped sausage on top. Taste of tomato sauce is gone. Sa spice of the chili comes in strong. No kids dish. What is this game? Why are we just eating food? All right, so I either need yeah, that looks like the sign Chinese place. So I just need a sushi place. Which I, I guess I'll do a lap around here since I don't think I did. Oh wait, yeah, I did. Uh, 
that's not it. That's not it. And like, I couldn't even see that one place. Restrooms. If I don't see it, I'm gonna head outside because I don't know where I'll. I don't know how it can't be K Cafe. Oh wait, no, I already did the tea house. Nope. Nothing. What's this? Okay, I can't go in there. And that just take what oh that's not it. Yes, I'm sure you don't sell sushi as well. I don't know. Okay, I can't fight on an empty stomach. So I have to find the sushi place. You like how disorganized this place is? Well, I can't even find a sushi place that's supposed to give me free food. Alright. Nothing over to the right here, but right. Alright. No. Alright, second floor. Is this it? Oh, okay. Because it's a sushi restaurant where the food doesn't come around on a conveyor belt. I've never seen that before. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, what? You making fun of me now? Have you ever been to a fancy sushi place? Being on. What do you want to eat? Mm, I'm definitely going for the omelet. You don't get it at all. Huh. You know, egg was a dessert a long time ago. If you eat something sweet like that, you will ruin your fish. When you eat sushi, you should always start with white fish. The way the experts do it is they eat clean tasting white fish first, and fattier fish, then sushi rolls. Makes sense. <laughs> That's so boring. Jeez, no wonder you don't get any girls. You're such a nerd. Oh, I wasn't going. You know, let's go inside. Yara, what are you going to start with? I'm... Some people think they know everything about sushi and keep going on and on about it. The best way to eat it is the way you like it. So I can't decide. Times like this, the best thing to do is look at the chef's recommendations. Right, today's recommendation is squid. Okay, I'll start with that then. One squid! Okay, they're putting the sushi on my plate. Surely they don't get this kind of treatment at a cheap conveyor belt or sushi, please. Now then, oh, it's plump, springy, and thick. It really looks delicious. I just put some soy sauce on it. Oh, it's amazing. Squid is a little bland, but all the al dente texture and unique taste complement each other beautifully. Worked appetite. Next one is okay. Good. Huh? I guess I didn't just order fish eggs. The thing you've ordered is eggs. You're obsessed. Also, when you left the restaurant, you said "oyesu." What does that mean? Do I want to know? Oh, yes. I have... apparently did not type it in right. Ah, it comes from the term. I so want to school. God, cool. It's used only by the staff to talk to the customers, never the other way around. Yeah, but. Oh, 
quality, hospitality, and Chinese and Japanese candy. Ah. Well, that didn't tell me much of anything. Yeah, wouldn't it be best if you wrote the report? Cool, that's great. The way I can focus on the eating part. But we already ate. How are we detectives? Yeah, the report is good, but it's a pain in the ass to read. While we were eating, this guy just kept talking to himself and never spoke a word of the rest of us. Well, I never thought you'd have such a talent for writing reports. So by the way, who is this undercover tester client anyway? I kept his true name him. I only know his web handle, so I don't actually know. Anyway, even if I knew, I have to keep that information confidential, so I can't say. Oh, come on, I really want to know. Who the hell is he? I mean, does it matter in the slightest? Because I'm going to go ahead and say no, it does not. Alright, but we got a bank expansion drive, which is something I really think I needed. I'm actually not sure now that I think about it. Oh, wait, that's not what I want. Uh, Digiline? Parkour is what move is Lilac themed Lilamon's special move, Lila Shower. She's flower shaped energy bolts. This makes sense to me. Hey, bring me something good to eat next to your pinkish wear. Alright, um, items, items, items. Where is that bank upgrade? Where is the bank upgrade? Because I'm pretty sure I don't get to just, you know, have it. Alright, maybe I do. Alright, now we can go to Shinjuku, right? I don't know. That whole thing confused me. More than it should have. Now why am I here? Something about a labyrinth? Just, just keep a lookout for anything odd. So far everything seems on the up and up. Now I'm back over here. Um, I hate that that's not an cr actual crosswalk that I can use. Like, why? Why would you limit me to being stuck on this side? Or only being able to use this crosswalk? I go ahead downtown? Was Miramon here? It was like something is out to kill. What is this chill I fear? It's fire! Very chilling fire. Case it came in from Detective Mario Shiro. Hurry up and come. What? For something all this air just now? It's when have you been so superstitious? It's probably nothing. Just get back here so we can work on it. Let's see if there's a new case. So there's just that one. Yeah, I don't know. 
I feel like I'm missing something. Like, why did I run out here just for that? Just to pick up the flame and now to go back to the Nakano. Doesn't really make sense. You said a new mission from. what's his name? Don't, ah! Broad did. An invisible slasher is rampant in Shinjuku. Hatch the cover before something serious happens. Hey, I don't think I ever got this bank expansion drive. Unless you just use it automatically for me. There's been a string of some real oddball incidents lately in Shinjuku. Cars, trees, building exteriors, they're all getting sliced up. Clean cuts too. Like someone took a real sharp knife to them. Thankfully nobody has actually gotten hurt by this so far. And now it's just a case of trying to curb vandalism we're dealing with here. It's a heavy duty stuff getting damaged here. Imagine if people start getting targeted somewhere as dense as Shinjuku. It'd be a real problem. As long as we don't know who's behind this, we can't predict what it will be next. The police can hardly be bothered to get off their asses and... Like this will help us. It's after the last incident. I see what this is, where this is going. Alright, we'll check it out for you. I've hacked into... I mean, I've uh, politely borrowed access to a security camera in Shijuku. So you see something important. I don't see anything and I damn well don't hear anything right now. Doesn't look like I can find any of the actual crimes, though I'd wager that you've already checked on this much yourself. There's really nothing much left on there, huh? Oh, I just found something interesting. It's my trusty assistant. Just a little while ago, let's take a look. Wait, what was that flash of light just now? Hmm. So I have a real life Kamataki Chi. Probably heard from the folk tales, right? They're weasel spirits with claws as sharp as a sickle. Hear their stories tell it. They attack people by appearing inside a sun whirlwind, cutting their victim's skin sharply. What probably really happens is that when people's skin gets really dry, they can get cut up by small rocks blowing in the wind. Or so we thought. Look at this footage, I think it's safe to say that's no ordinary gust of wind. Knowing that there well could be an actual Kamatachi on the loose in Shinjuku. Putting fairy tales aside for the moment. What we know is that light reflected off something. Maybe the wind somehow. Or a blade. Maybe something else entirely. Who knows? The light definitely skimmed really close to your head there in that footage. If you hadn't felt anything ominous back there, you might have seen your head pop off your shoulders. <laughs> Better stay sharp. You can only stay lucky for so long, you know. Head back to Shinjuku and investigate the surrounding area. Detective Matayoshi and I will stay here to analyze the footage. You literally just told me I could get my head cut off. I'm a child. Don't send children to investigate crimes. You're terrible adults. So much of this game is wasted on random running around and filler stuff. Uh, ooh, fire. There's a thin line coursing through here that looks like a burn mark. Wait, a burn mark? You found a burnt spot, you say? Hmm. Anything else of note you found there? What's wrong? Does something feel off again? Flash of sun rally reflect off a window and blinded you. Her, looks like you froze Kyo for the time being. Oh wait, there she goes. She's moving again. Guess she's looking something up. Once she's like this, she's lost her own world. No point trying to talk with her. Looks like she'll be at it for a while. Hey, where are you around since you don't work for me? But would you mind looking around for more clues? I've had a lot of reports about this phenomenon coming to the police department. So there could definitely still be something left to find. Alright, and who else wants me? Uh, Digiline, this one. 
Farm two train command can we please give a command to your new one? Alright, we will do that. Ah Here's that blue thing. I mean this was here last time. I feel it, the murderous intent again. You're too s you're too slow. Hey, it's me, I figure out what's going on. Using reflections to their advantage. Have you ever heard of the walkie-talkie building? Super tall skyscraper in London that was at the center of a really bizarre incident. There were cars parked nearby that mysteriously had parts of them melted and warped. Because it was the building's windows, the panes were installed in such a way they reflected a sunbeam potent enough to damage the cars. This instance, though, we're not dealing with sun rays. Just from the flash of light and those burn marks you found, probably dealing with lasers here. This isn't your ordinary laser pointers, only weapon grade lasers. The question is how someone managed to set them up around Shinjuku and fire them off without people spotting them. Has it been any big power surges in the area? Could there be batteries? No, wait, digital wave readings are fluctuating weirdly. Don't tell me you're using the digital waves as a substitute for microwaves in an impromptu laser. That's the case then. Hey, think you can trust in my deductions and your good luck to pull us through? It's been almost 30 minutes and I haven't even seen a single Digimon. Of course. The fact that a laser is bouncing around towards you means we can trace it back to its origin. That you need to get it in the line of fire. But you have to time it well, or else you'll get a hole burnt right through your skull. As soon as the lasers got you, I want you to connect jump into it and dive inside. If my thinking is correct, the laser is actually a type of digital wave. The instant that beam of light hits something, it forms a connection with the origin point. So there's a phone network. I know it sounds crazy, but you're easily the luckiest person I've ever known. You can do it. This is a terrible sounding idea. Especially because it has to be done perfectly right to not die. If it works. Who keeps timing? me? Yes, all humans are scary. Especially the human ones. Alright, now which way are we going? Hello? Don't freeze here! It's literally the first time we got to a part with Digimon. Hopefully, this is taken care of and it's not gonna like crap out again. Hey, a Digimon battle! Cockmon? Yeah! Do I even. Ah, I almost could kill him. I thought he digits of mom would be at a disadvantage, but Ooh, paralyze. Yet he can still fight. Well he made a poor decision. Poor target. So Longimon level up and Cursor and Gabumon's at max level. Good! I'm glad we got to see some Digimon in this. Oh, that's a dead end. I'm glad we got to see some Digimon in this Digimon game. Ooh. Bakemon or Bakimon. I actually don't know. I'm, I always thought his name was Bakemon, but I'm really starting to think it's not. That's how he died. He turned into a ghost. Okay. Well, I am just gonna run right out of here. So, uh. Really? So, I may have eventually got it fixed and then did this boss battle without it recording. Needless to say, I beat Tankmon up. 
and use a program Digimon made by a foreign military. Sorry to interrupt your conversation then, guess I gumped the, the works real bad right when you won him over. Alright, so at least it put a stop to things even though it ended poorly. It really did. Now it's become a serious situation. I mean, not only did you find a tough secret military weapon, you also, well, destroyed it. I don't care for real, this could turn into an international incident that even threatens our security treaty with that country. Whoops. Just when Japan finally got them to move their bases to, the deal could vanish into thin air because of this. Oh, I don't think any of this is your fault. Even if it were to lead to World War III taking place, you shouldn't feel guilty. Oh, Kyo. If I didn't know you better, I'd think you were actually being serious. Hehe. <laughs> oh, but I really am. When am I not? Anyway, Lady Luck must really take a shine to you. In truth, there was actually one other thing that flashlight could have been. If it had been a normal maser, but instead a phonon maser, you uh, wouldn't be standing here. A maser? Or a laser? Text the fluctuation of the digital waves, which made me immediately determine that we're functioning as a maser substitute. What is a maser? There's no way there's three typos of that back to back to back. Rather than rely on photons, phonon lasers, like the name implies, rely on amplified phonons, which make them properties fundamentally different. Um, if you'd been facing a phonon laser back there, you probably would have been able to use it like a normal job. How do you get. How lucky you some great work out there today, kiddo. What is a maser? That's it. Uh, I'm out of here. I'm going to digivolve my platinum Sukumon. Because I feel really bad that I kind of just skipped like the only fight in this thing. Alright. Digivolve. Platinum Sukumon to... Ooh. I feel like Etmon's probably the best of the three. Who is this? Because it. Platinum Etmon is an old. Oh, it's, he's only a champion. Oh! It's a high level champion. Okay. Then I guess we'll go Edmon. Because this is Nanimon and this is like Vadermon. Give me that Edmon. Stop being a big poop and become a big puppet monkey thing. <sighs> uh, move Pokemon. Well, hey. Guess who's coming off the... Oh, Gabumon, you can evolve too. And then come off the team. I'll help fill out the one book. Alright, and now... Move... Yeah, move Numon. To the bank. Alright. What are your guys' sets? Like how? 71, 71, 79, 45. These should be close. Close ish. 88. Oof. Alright. Well, I'm gonna end this episode here. So, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this. There's not a lot of Digimon happening in in this part of the Digimon game. Um, I guess, I think I still need to turn in my case. Because that should net me some rewards. So reward money, CSP. Oh, I'm a real cyber sleuth. A bank expansion drive, but 
Just said. Um, so it's back to work for you, kiddo. Next task awaits. Oh, cutscene? And so, it's kind of my attention that the acquisition of the Nile Corporation by Commissioner Enterprise was illegal. Some rotten underlings did it on their own with no permission. Although this was years ago, it was categorically the wrong decision. As such, I certainly will not let it slide. With that said, Okay, everyone who was even slightly involved, from the vice president on down to the delivery boys, I fired them all. Each and every one. Moving on. Here on out, I shall run the company personally as its CEO. Complete change from the old organization, I shall now control the company directly. Decision making will be faster and will be able to provide the string of new services our customers do. I'd like to start by taking the first step today. It's a very major project, a project that I've had in mind for a while now that I'd like to announce. And that is, major update to Eden. This new update, you'll be able to do that. And this, and maybe even those things. The details are still a secret. We'll be hosting an early access demo event for people to try these new Eden updates ASAP. Please join us and experience for yourself our new sincerity, along with the new possibilities offered by Eden. Was that just forcibly broadcasted? We got slammed. Indeed, our opponent is not to be underestimated. We really got the upper hand. We're about to launch a raid on Kemashiro on the basis of the materials you obtained for us. There's a leak in the form of an internal announcement at Kemashiro regarding the raid. In other words, they admitted their guilt before we could pursue any charges. You could still charge them! This is the evidence we prepared in arresting Yasuke. Not our speculation. I suspect that it was Shibi who ordered that announcement. This press conference must be part of her cunning scheme as well. She probably figured that if she got it to the press first, she could avoid the apologies and explanations that would invariably come with her. But to couple that with an announcement of her becoming the new CEO, as well as these new large-scale Eden updates all at the same time, give them the old razzle-dazzle. She be show she's running, and she knows it. On the other hand, I did get evidence proving a connection between Shibi and the demon hackers. All the accounts associated with the demons have somehow been magically erased. It'd be tough to identify them in the real world. Sorry, Kyo-chan. Just when we finally had Kimishiro by the tail, they got away. I need to apologize. If we'd rushed into things earlier, probably would have all turned out the same. Urgent at K Cafe. What's up? Come see me. Great. We're having a serious talk. At least use a ringtone that doesn't suck all the dramatic tension out of the room. I know a call from Nokia. Don't worry about us. Just go. You know the saying, strike while the iron's hot. Something we can do for right now. Waiting for her to make the first move is a valid plan on our part. Right, chapter 8. No stopping the Gale Girls. And that is where we're actually going to stop this episode. And or we could put your assistant skills to use. I swear that kid might be a godsend from your father, sent from the great hereafter. Maybe rushing into things might not be the worst idea, just a little bit. Huh? There's no guarantee that half cyber form will be able to sustain life forever. If Kimishiro finds out whose body it is at the hospital, it won't end well, will it? Or possibly. It could be that they're leaving Gabriel alone on purpose. They've been doing the truth for a while now. Like I said, they have recognized come for actors who want to use Digimon for evil purposes. Oh, yeah, you're, you're late. Why are you always late like this? Back to what we were talking about. What do you mean by dick for a 
Is it obvious? We'll take out the hackers and save the Digimon. Da! Hey, isn't that a bit high-handed? Losing to Faye earlier made it very apparent that I don't have the chops to do this on my own. That's why I'm planning on forming a tamer group. Face off against those mean old hackers. A tamer group? You've both heard of a hacker team called the Judes. The Judes? They were a hacker team that was active a little while ago, right? That's right, Arata. Should have figured you'd know your stuff. Although members of the Judes were hackers, they never did anything evil that would have bothered ordinary users of Digimon. So what are you getting at? You can form a powerful team by gathering hackers like former Jude members and other like-minded folks. We call ourselves the Rebels. We we'll protect Digimon and Eden from evil hackers. What do you think? Totally great idea, right? Since with the name Kicks Butt? Kick Butt name? A name that kicks butt? Are your butts kicked? And Harada would be our leader, of course. No one else better for the job. <laughs> Excuse you, Nokia. Yeah, what? I'm right here. Primo leader guy. Well, you're such an incredible hacker. You saved me that time I was attacking Kuhn. I've saved you more times than that. More than that one time he did. Oh, you'll be a rebel too, Yegura. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. I'll make you the vice assistant leader. That's... The fake job. The fake name. There, and it's decided. Is the Rebels a good name? You should also go with the Digimon Helpers, or DH for short. No thanks. What? You, you won't do it? Wait, why not? How come? Oh, is it because you don't like the word leader? If that's the case, you can be the boss, or the captain, or El Jefe, Jefe, or whatever you prefer. I don't have time for your game of me. Game of make believe. I'm busy searching for the cause of that crazy sickness. You can do what you want. Oh, that's his lines. Hey, Yagura. This is really the best time for you to be hanging out with someone like her. I need to talk to you. Come to Shinjuku later. I'll be waiting. Alright. What's up with that? The that this bites. Fine. He doesn't have to join us. We can do it without him, right, Yagura? Everyone. Okay. Oh my God. People are still talking. Hey, you, you're you will go Kamashiro, all right? I heard about you from Yagura. What are you doing in a place like this? Kyoko told me what was going on. She said Yagura would be here. You have business with you? Yagura is in here. The loud mouth. You had a very serious look on your face. What were you looking at? Oh, nothing. Monthly special hamburger set menu. Huge portions, thick and juicy hampers. Extra rice free year round. God, I'm hungry. You hungry? Okay, then I'll see you around. Smooth. Rada knows how to talk to him. Oh my god, we're still in a gut scene. Ah, I'm so angry. What is it with that hood wearing punk? He must be thinking he's all that. Look at me, I'm such a nihilist. I'm so cool, I'm so hot. Hm, well, what else? This means. It means. There's only one solution. I'll be the leader. No. You don't even have a Digimon. What's that look for? You don't have to be so shocked or dubious. Hey, bro, you'll help me recruit new members, yeah? What? Why that big long pause there? You don't want it? You don't want to? Now I'm really worried about the future. Oh, no need to worry. I've got a like, clear goal on all this. I think you go from the Zaxons will understand what I'm saying a little better. Whatever will be, will be. Where there's a will, there's a way. What other? Let's start out by trying to invite you. Oh, we gotta find Faye. Keep Faye completely out of it. Well, she's kind of a creeper, isn't she? She talks funny and her style is a bit of... Uh, she's definitely a perv. Perver of capital P. Pervert. 
What? Are you a friend of Yagerbro's? Seems you're in the middle of something. I'll come back later. Oh no, we're not in the middle of anything. We're certainly not talking about perverts. Huh? Aren't you Yugo Kamashiro from Kamashiro Enterprises? Yes. Whoa, she really is your friend here. Huh? Well, I wouldn't go that far. So hey, does that mean that we're your friends too? What? Oh, you're right. The friend of a friend is a friend. That's been the way of things have been since, like, forever. Yes, well, I'm Nokia Shiromini. Mina. Call me Nokia, or Akino, if you like. That was my nickname back in elementary school. Am I... Can I call you Yuko? Or... Oh, uh, or Yuko Rin? I totally adore you. I, I'll be back later. Sure thing, Yuoka. Later. Funny thing about you is, you've got some pretty well developed relationships, considering how poorly developed your character is. Anyway, let's go to Kaloon and find Yuoka. What? You're going to report in at the agency? Roger that. It's me and Kaloon then. Same place as before, hurry up. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, well that was fast. Are you done with your business with your friend? Oh, I don't want friends if this is what it takes. Ripples? A friend of a friend is a friend? I have no idea what you're talking about, but you seem the type to be easily embroiled in trouble. What happens in the of Mariyoshi? He just went home a few minutes ago. We're gonna wait for Kimishiro to make their next move. For now, give us some free time. Helping your friends might be a good use of your time right now. You never know how the wheels of fate will turn. After all, as they say, one good turn deserves another. Huh? One good turn deserves to know. You're saying I'm using that proverb wrong? Huh. That's what you think. Go look up the correct meaning. Seven messages. That's a lot of messages. That is not where I look at messages. Here it is. Alright, so someone's level. What generation is the Royal Knight Alphamon? Japanese history question. Who found the, the Kamakura Shogunate? Ah. None of those names. I've never heard of them. Alright. I'm just. I'm not. I refuse to touch anything else on the controller for fear of getting into another cutscene. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,